Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. We're on Train Sim Classic today and we're going to be taking a look at a scenario pack from Adam Haig. Uh, it's for the South Wales um, mainline modern route, which is a video that I should have done ages ago. Now, I did actually try to do this video ages ago, but I ran into issues due to the, um, the route at the time having a few uh, missing assets and signals. So I unfortunately had to sort of stop doing it. I've only just got around to obviously doing this video and this scenario pack is giving me the uh, the enthusiasm to actually get this video done. Um, it's not a long video, it's a short one, but we're going to be taking a look between Bristol Temple Mead and Stoke Gifford um, IET depot um, with this class 800. I think it's an 800. Is it 800? It is an 800. I have no idea. They're all, they're all, these things all look the same. Anyway, so let's get underway and get started. So, whilst working on Charlie 26 from Paddington, unit 80022 developed a fault and control has ordered the unit to run empty to Stoke Gifford for repair. At the moment, the defective unit is currently coupled to 80026. Please switch off the unit's other cab and uncouple from the rear unit. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> That's a good question, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, uncouple? Nah, I have no idea how you do this. I've been chucked in the deep end and I have no idea. Can I just press... Well, I've done it. That works. Uh, now you're uncoupled from the other unit, please switch cabs and depart when ready. Uh, northbound to Bristol Parkway, so then you can reverse to Stoke Gifford. Whether that's a technical way of doing it, I don't know. But um, I couldn't actually click the uncouple button, so my presumptions are that it doesn't actually work. Anyway, we've done it, so we don't need to worry. So, let's get some bits and pieces on. Because I have to cancel that awful alarm. WF and AWF operational. I have a funny suspicion that my pack may be out of date or some somewhat, I don't know. I've got all sorts of overlapping stuff on that. I want to just make do and go with it. Alright, let's get some lights on. I think that is everything. What's going on over here? Let's have a look. What are we waiting for? We're literally just waiting for tracks to clear. Unless there's obviously something else to uh, disappear before we go. Could be waiting for the HST. Alright, let's have a look in the uh, the briefing. So, yeah, after this unit arrived into Bristol with the fault, it is now booked to an empty stop Gifford for repairs after detaching from the rear unit. It's set in 2021. You may have to control tab B signal BL1507 when reversing at Bristol Parkway. Hopefully I can reverse it, Bristol. I actually ran a snow off this pack on the stream um, the day before I was recording this video. And I've never ever, have I, in the whole amount of time playing Train Sim Classic, I've ever seen that the fact that async keys potentially can break your passenger stop. We sat there for a good 10 minutes hoping the doors might shut. They never did. Uh, the red little bar at the bottom is uh, where obviously you're stopping uh, task is. It just hung and never moved. Very weird. I've never seen that before. So hopefully the scenario goes unhitched. So we haven't got the road. Whatever's going out the uh, the third track up has got that at the minute. Could be one last for 72 to be honest. As that appears to have the track set to go where we're going so... Let's have a look around at Bristol. Seems like we've actually done the video on this, let's have a quick look around at Bristol. The route's on version 1.2 now as well since uh, after it's been out quite a while now. 
That shows how long it's taken me to get to do a video. All the new signaling. And uh, I think it's got all the new... I think it actually had new track layout done in here as well. So they did do all the track up recently. I think the actual track layout has been put into this as well. Loads of new clutter. Wait for this. Oh, maybe not. HST is going. Oh, everything's going. They're all moving now. Fantastic. I thought it was... I had actually had a bit of an inkling that it might have just been broken then. But no, we're still here. We're going. Which was a longer, a longer wait than before. So hopefully once these two trains are cleared, we can get underway. We've got the HST. We'll be going north. And then we've got the, um, the 159 South Western Railway working, which is going down to Basingstoke. I will put the link for this scenario pack into the description as well, so if anyone wants to have a little play with this, go and take a look. Adam's got all sorts of scenario packs uh, on his website as well. There's not just this one. There's a there's a nice, decent number of different workings and different sort of style packs that he's done. Well worth a look. He's got stuff on his own website. He does stuff for ATS as well on that site. He's got stuff all over the place. Oh, we've got road. We are clear to go. Right, let's get forward. There we are. Hope it'll work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It moves. There we go. Yeah, I've no idea what's going on with the um, the screen. I might just re-update me pack. Oh, didn't matter with a red. Didn't get very far, did we? Oh, it's going all right. Onwards. So yeah, it's not a long trip down to Stoke Gifford. It's just up the uh, up the bank. We've got to go Bristol uh, Parkway, do a reversal, and then we'll into the depot. The depot's really nice. Well, it's been really, really well modelled. Um, there's a lot going on there. It's a marvel in itself. Shape the route map quickly as well. So the main focus is everything to the left. Through to Swansea. There is track to Swindon. It's not got scenery though. Hopefully that'll get scenery one day because I think that'd be quite a nice little addition. Just go past Barton Hill. But all modern signals, we've got ILS signals and all sorts of modern signage. It really has had a fair amount of work done. This is well down this part. It has four tracks now up the bank. Um, through it, Filton Abbey. <clears throat> Used to be two tracks. The, uh, the four-track alignment weren't a thing on the DTG version. Um, Rude Devs on this one have put the four-track alignment back in. But it does feel a little bit weird when you drive on the wrong tracks when you're normally used to driving on the ones that were open.
And we are running on the uh, the new alignment. Basically keeping away from the platforms, out of the way. A little thrash on the roof. <laughs> Trying not to lose our head. It amazes me why they didn't actually do OH Lee down to Bristol, like Temple Meads. I suppose that they can obviously power down and put the diesel engine on so it's not all bad. It's not an overly long distance, is it? Let's get this down to 40 mile an hour because we're on single gilla. All this uh, area of route has been literally, it's all been remodelled and done properly. So much better. The cuttings and everything are brilliant as well. This is a platform here being built. No idea what platform that is. Does that actually have a marker on the platform? I don't think it does yet. No. A cheeky screenshot as well. Very well be useful for a video, although I'm probably going to use something in the deck, I think. So one of the things when I came to this video originally was I was missing a load of signals, and it was these signals on this section going up to um, where you turn off to go towards as a patchway. And when you get to the top end near the back, like the top end of the depot, there was a, to like a totally missing signal, and I couldn't get anywhere any further. And yeah, that that put a hold to the video. Got that fixed. The the root developer actually assisted me in getting that fixed. I had no idea what was going on. Couldn't get any some of the requirements were installed but not showing and stuff. We got it there in the end. Um, I think it required a bit of assistance on the ACS side to get it working as well uh, in the background, but it, it got it working as well. So for that help, thank you. So it seems to be behaving uh, well. And if you've got the requirements, I do recommend that um, you you do grab a copy because it's it's very nice. Especially if you want to do modern scenarios around Cardiff and that with OH Lee, you can do like Electro Stars and that. It's definitely worth grabbing. Well, like, for example, stuff on this side, you can see all this wall, all the all this wall in there and, and that up the, up the left hand side was never like that on the original route. It's been totally remodeled. It was still on the I know this is only just a very small portion that you'll see in the video, but hopefully it'll give you a flavour of what to expect with it. It just means that you don't have to do modern era scenarios into some, obviously, some capacity on the original DG route because you need the OH Lee. The OH Lee is a, a big need. Don't worry about it. It's just loading in Stoke Gifford because there's such a lot going on there. It's just loading in the tile. It'll sort itself out hopefully in a second, <laughs> he says.
There we go. <laughs> it was thinking about it. It's done it. It is a very, very busy town. And it doesn't help because there's all the signalling around the area. It's also got all the different tracks going off in different directions. So there's a lot of scenery to pack in. Therefore, it's loading that one big massive tile up in one go. We are greens now. Get some power down. Well, literally, to be fair, this is like this is a Stoke Gifford area. So the, the depot is actually situated within the sort of like the triangular area of the tracks. So it's well in between all the tracks. You can just see around the corner of the OH Lee's just kicking in now. Just at the top of the depot building as well. Though. Hopefully, we'll take this into the depot building and look around in there because it's uh, it's pretty beast. If not, we'll have a look anyway. All sorts of stored wagons over here. We've got the H H A's, I think it is. H H A's. The uh, the coal wagons. So remember not to open the doors here. We're just changing ends. Right, let's uh, see out. Put them on uh, tail lights. Let's have everything down the centre. If you haven't done already, put down this cab and then move to the other end so then we can head into Stoke Gifford. Make sure you set the path to the acceptance road free. Okay. And AWS operational. Acceptance road free. That's already set. Yeah, we're alright, it's already done. Um we haven't got the road yet though, is there a train coming? Before I start charging off. Uh, we have got road. And it did say we had to have uh, a signal in it. So that's approved. That was the one. This is the first time I've done this as well. It's the first time I've actually driven into this depot. I've, I've seen it and been around flying around, but I've never actually driven in. I like the OHL. I think, even though it's very cluttered, though, actually, I think it's pretty 
cool looking. As it actually goes. Very intrusive, I would have thought, though. All these big, massive, thick bars. But, no, I think it looks quite, uh, quite cool. No idea what speed it is, because it doesn't show. I presume it's going to be 10. Oh, it's 5. It's a hidden speed board. Up. This depot drops down a bit as well. Is it sort of the uh, the tram cables and stuff like the single wire? Oh, actually, in here. Very random, but I've got a magpie running back and forth down the back of the am house here at the minute. <laughs> it just keeps seeing this magpie bobbing around. Keep running past the back door. It's very off putting. <laughs> God knows what it's doing. It just literally keeps bobbing around back and forth. We'll just stop on this uh, line as well. I do like how this has been done though. It's a very modern depot as well. It's just, it looks so clean and pristine. And this area's changed so much over the years. It's been really nicely designed on here. And the chap that built this as well, he'd never built a route in the past or anything like that. This is his first route as well. I think he's done absolutely still a job. Wait for further instructions. Yep. Uh, pull forward to maintenance road two ahead to finish off with. We've got the road. This will be using the AP signaling, I reckon, to hold them signals. Well, it looks like we're going into the shed, which I think uh, it'll be nice. So, just drive into that finally. And it's five mile now, and it? it's really tedious, so you might catch that like creep over. Mm. 
little things like this as well. I love that the fact it's got little speed bumps. No idea what they've been built with. The speed bumps. <laughs> Nice little vantage point. Yeah, everything that's going on. So you can see obviously the way that all the lines are. So that line goes off down to um, Cardiff. Crystal Parkway. Temple Meads. It's all in between. Uh, that I think goes to Avonmouth as well. <laughs> I just love this. And Jay Fuller did the building, but everything else obviously inside has been kit bashed. building really nice detail I think that's been lofted with the pavement loss <laughs> that's quite a very clever way of doing it Oh, there we are. We've we've made it as well. This this snow has actually not uh, gone wrong for me. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit notification bell for future videos. Um, links in the description for the pack and the route. Um, if you want to have a go of these, um, definitely worth. Really is worth having a look at this. It's very nicely built. So. From here at Stoke Gifford, I shall leave you there. Um, don't forget, drop a comment or anything like that. Um, there's, more there's more TSC videos coming as well because uh, TSW, obviously, the release is now will have died down for Christmas. So we'll make some TSC back into it. But on that note, thank you for watching. Don't forget, catch on Twitch as well on a Friday and Sunday, um, usual time um, for usual train style shenanigans some form <laughs> usually something goes wrong and um, but yeah thanks for watching guys take care see you very soon and again just thank you bye for now